Hey guys, sorry for here playing KSP again. Um, uh, one of my subscribers asked for a longer video of me flying the uh, Stealth Mark II VTOL version. So uh, here is that. But for you guys who don't want to see that, uh, stick around. So I have a little surpri uh, surprise. My last creation before uh, uh, 0 0.1 comes out. Oh, uh, 1.0 comes out. Sorry, switched it around. So, um, I'll talk while I fly, and uh, I'll fly towards the surprise, which you can see over there. Okay. So, um, what do you guys think about Cerebro and One? Uh, me, I'm very excited about it. I can't wait um, till it comes out, and uh, that will be the, this Monday. The 27th so I'm very happy about that especially since um, we have a, a holiday here in Holland on a day a free day King's Day so uh, that's gonna give me some time to play the new game and uh, hopefully quickly quick put up a new video of it uh, take off um uh, yeah so i can't wait for the new features you know the uh, uh the new aerodynamica and uh, i understand there are a lot of new parts in uh, this version and of course uh well it's gonna be done eh? you know, well not done they're gonna keep on working on it but it's gonna be uh out of beta so it's cool really cool but uh, of course uh, I have to look at the planes now, uh, I wonder if this design will fly for instance, probably not. So, um, oh, um, I had some requests, uh, mainly from uh, uh, Switch within, uh, within Games, or Switch, and um, where he's asking for a um, for me to build the interstellar rocket and lander and I've looked at it but I'm sorry to say I'm not gonna do that it's really just a rocket and it's not really my st uh, style craft so um, I'm sorry about that um, I am working uh, on the helicopter you asked for uh, in Besieged I have the rotor section, but uh, I've never built helicopters before, so it's pretty uh, difficult to build, to my opinion. Uh, really, the balance and all that kind of things is pretty hard. So let's go horizontal. And turn off this one. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to the new version of KSP. I think it's going to be pretty fun. And uh, yeah, I've seen a few pictures of the new parts, the new wings they've made for the uh, Mark III parts. They don't seem to really fit in with the uh, part we have now, but who knows? I understand they're going to make a lot of changes. A lot of the old stuff is going to be uh, retextures, uh, like the nose cones and. Uh, a lot of the old stuff that hasn't been remodeled for a long time is going to be uh, remodeled or retextured. So, I'm really looking forward to seeing those. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, what do you guys want to see me build in uh, 0 0.1? Another VTOL, SSTO, or a combination of both, of course. I think I'm gonna uh, do my first uh, video on uh, with 0.1. I'm gonna make a video whilst I build and try out stuff. Uh, gonna be one of my uh, longest videos ever, I think. So um, yeah. Um, what can I talk about? Mm. Well, the new craft. Um, it's over there in the, the hangar. Um, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. It's not completely finished. 
but I'm gonna re release it anyway because well a few more days and it might not fly anymore so um, I'm just gonna uh, release it anyway so uh, I'm gonna release it on the forum of course and I'm gonna put the description link in the uh, description below the video so. uh, oh and in other news uh, um, uh, a while back I asked some guys of you uh, some of you guys which games I should play on my channel uh, next to the fact I was playing uh, uh, KSP and uh, Besieged uh, somebody said Warframe I have been playing that, it's a pretty fun game um, and I'm looking for people to play with um, you know, people I really know uh, maybe who I can chat with on Skype so uh, my name in game is uh, Sorryper 1981 just like my uh, channel name that's usually the name I use in games with multiplayers so uh, we're almost at the island runway uh, let's see probably gonna try and land with the VTOL engine so let's try and slow down a little bit Turn off the uh, rapier engines and just go on the turbo engines. Uh, uh, stealth mode, as I call it. It's a little bit more quiet, less smoke. And, uh, well, pretty cool. Uh, oh, what the hell? Oh, now it's loading in uh, the other craft, so. I'm calling it the wasp. Uh, my wife looked at the front of it and thought it looked like a wasp, so I thought that's a good name for it. Putting down the landing gears, turning off the engines. Oh, wrong button. I'm getting my uh, toggles mixed up. Travel down. Put on the brakes. So, uh, don't look into the hangar. It has to be a surprise. So, I'm gonna try and land it uh, in the. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Jeez. Uh, yeah, the problem is the Wasp is about, I think, 500 parts, and this plane is about 200, so that's in total. Oh, watch out. Uh, about 700 parts big and let's see if I can land it in the cargo bay from the back not gonna be easy but I should be able to make it mm. don't turn, 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 turn. don't look don't look don't spoil the surprise ooh this is gonna be a hard landing oh, oh. Land you bitch. Land, 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 land. Ooh, oh, oh shit, yikes. Okay, there goes part of the plane. Turn off the engine. Quick. Okay, that didn't go uh, according to plan. What was that explosion? I have no idea. Well, we have. Uh, who do we have here? Um, we. For some reason, because the uh, uh, control servers are clipping into the uh, cargo bay, uh, into the into the uh, cockpit, uh, kerbals jump out a lot. So uh, they're really happy to get out. Who is this? Bob. We have Bob Kerbin to fly the wasp. Ooh. What is it with Bob? For some reason, I'm getting Bob as lately. Okay, let's speed this up. This is taking too long. Yeah, run, Bob, run! Okay. Uh, he's going for a record, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Bob. You can do it. Jump! <laughs> okay. And... Um. 
Okay, so um, here it is. Um, I'm about to show you my last creation in uh, 0 0.90. Uh, so let's all say goodbye to uh, 0 0.90 and get ourselves hyped and ready for 1.0. Let's go, Bob. Da, 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 da. Oop. Gotta watch out for my uh, that I don't get flagged. And here is the wasp. Ain't it pretty? It's a dropship. It's supposed to be a SSTO VTOL dropship LS. Because of the um, engines mounted on top, I haven't been able to get it into orbit. So uh, it's just gonna be a. Uh, how do you say that? Um, Kerbal plane. How do you say that again? I'm, you know what I mean. It's gonna be a. Uh, uh, I forgot the name. Never mind. You can't take it into a word. That's the point. Okay. Uh, get in the seat. It's not the official way to get in, but. Or I have to switch it around. No, this is the broken plane. Okay. Where are we? Oh, that's a part. The, oh, there we go. So, so this is the wasp, aptly named by my wife. And can I go down? That's the problem with uh, showing something in the hangar. So I'm gonna open uh, the cargo bay doors, which are here in the back. You can't really put something in it. It's more like a um, no. Oh, there we are. There's Bob again. Mm, Run, Bob. Uh, you can uh, put kerbals in it. But it's too small to fit a vehicle in, or maybe you can make a little small bike or something like that. But like I said, probably after what the hell's up with the camera? And there we go. Uh, get. In there, I can't see. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I can't see anything. Bob, are you still there? Uh, there we go. And let's zoom in. So, um, okay, this hatch didn't open up completely. I just need to get on the. Oh, come on, Bob. If you're kidding me, right? Bob, you're being annoying. Let's try that again. Oh my. Oh, stop smacking, Bob. What's up with that? Come on, you can do it. Well, maybe it's wide enough no get back to Bob get on Bob I know you can do it get on there you go uh, normally this opens up farther but I don't know uh, Bob don't fall over Bob start walking come on get in Okay, now so we have um, um, ten seats. You can probably fit in more if you fill in the middle of the plane. But uh, I have a few more days, and then this plane is gonna be uh, probably obsolete. But let's get Bob into his seat. Okay, board. Uh, you don't really need Bob to fly it. It has a. Um, how do you say that? It has a control unit in it. Uh, I'm really... First I'm gonna get out of here. This is my first point of business. This is really starting to get annoying. So, uh, the wasp. Freedom! 
There we go. Nice short takeoff. So, now we can get a clear view of the wasp. Stupid hanger. Screw you! Turn off the VTOL engines. So, uh, the VTOL engines are embedded in the engines. And they're uh, inside uh, a. How do you call that again? I'm completely lost at names today. Here you go. Uh, reaction wheel. Inside the reaction wheels. Uh, big reaction wheels. I saw this on a VTOL uh, a while back. I think it was called the H2O. Uh, the guy had made a few VTOLs using this design or using the combination of reaction wheels with uh, engines inside of them. Which looks pretty cool. Uh, Uh, the craft looks like the uh, uh, jet from the Avengers movies and all the Marvel movies where it's in. So, I think it looks pretty cool. Somewhat different cockpit. Here we have Bob in the front again. We're looking through this small uh, window. And yeah, uh, this is the Vidal. I tried to take some cues from uh, Rune's uh, craft, uh, which he made a while back by angling the uh, engines up. I'll try and keep it going straight, but it needs the SES to fly uh, correctly. And uh, yeah, well, this is the Wasp, happily named by my wife. And uh, yeah, I got nothing more to say, guys. So I think I'm gonna end it this, uh, end it at this. I hope you guys like the wasp. It's gonna be in the description. It's my last craft before uh, 0 0.1, a uh, 1.0. I keep mixing it up. And uh, I'll see you guys for the next video, uh, which will be in uh, 1.0. And. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.